Oh, what? You get caught? Now you don't want to do it for the camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you embarrassed? No camera? It's like frozen. No, you got him. Oh, jeez, dude. So, I don't even know if I'm in frame. I'm on the old camera. The new camera's kind of driving me crazy because I don't know how to use it. But this week, again, every week, just, just you know what I'm gonna say. It's been crazy. This week has been especially crazy. Like, first off, I had a bunch of shit happening with trying to procure or even think about what I want to do. I don't even know what is happening, basically. I don't know if I want to rent a building or not. Basically, I'm at this crossroads where I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to do moving forward. I've really been enjoying tattooing. I'm really trying to take control of my inventory with clothing so that I can like do more and make more and create more, paint more. But also, as you guys know, I like to travel. I have plans to come to Chicago and Detroit coming up here June 17th through like the 26th to the whole trip, but Chicago till the 21st. Uh, so you can email me now if you want to get in. So there's that too. There's the idea of wanting to travel. There's the idea of wanting to be at home and just like hunker down and create and not really knowing what I want to do. So basically well, this whole week uh, made myself crazy thinking about what I wanted. I didn't really, I don't really know. Like I still don't really know. So I applied anyway for the building just like to, to see. And then I found out I had some bullshit going on. Fucking credit card that I forgot I had. Long story short, $5 fee that didn't get paid because I didn't know about it. And they they never fucking contacted me. Anyway, anyway, the universe works how the universe works. I have to wait, basically, anyway, to kind of see if this is what I want to do. Because I can't do anything until this thing on my credit gets fixed, which is fixed. It's not a problem. It's just going to take however long it takes for them to fix the shit on their end. Whatever. So... Because of that, I'm going to just travel. Uh, Jay's going out of town. Jay's going to Florida the 4th to 11th to see his kid. That's the rabbit. And then I'm gonna leave when he gets back, then come back here, work a little bit more, and then in July also do North Carolina, Richmond, and Atlanta. But that's the plan right now. Things are kinda opening back up. Vegas is open as fuck. June 1st, there's no more uh, COVID guidelines at all. The other thing that's been going on all week, and why there's no podcast this week, Ern and JC went to SneakerCon in Dallas. Jay has been here literally working like, this man has been working all day, every day. I don't know what time he's been going in. I've been taking him all different times and he comes home way after midnight. We've been just like clocking $25 Ubers just to get him home because it's that late and I need my sleep. You know what I'm saying? I need sleep. It's been a really crazy, 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 crazy week. The UN is open now. We had they had the soft opening last night. Here we go to the UN Grand Opening. Well, the soft opening. It's not a full hard. It's not a full hard opening. Well, halfy, half open. Just the, just the tip. We're at. Caesar's Palace. JC soft opening. You in? Jay Diddy has physically moved most of the stores. It was the muscles to work. Now we're here to check out the scene. We're here to scope it. We're here for all the hype. Uh, Teddy's gonna figure out first name. What's all right? Teddy. Teddy. Oh, okay. The cameraman. Behind the scenes, hello. Oh, shit. Hey, what's, what's going on? Oh, How are you? I'm doing great. Look, I got headphones. I see that. I can hear everything. Not even plugged in. No, oh, they yeah. are. What's up, big dog? How you doing? Yeah, man. Thanks for inviting us. Hey, how are you? It's so big in here. It's huge. Fucking crazy. Look around, dude. There's yeah, so yeah. much fucking art. Yeah, two, two guys that moved the whole store right here, right here. Right here. Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, tell me transforming, you feel me? <laughs> Come, Diddy, you see it. Back to the future, nigga. That's true. Like, Bruce Banner, this <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this 
motherfucker. Thank you. Hey, Tony. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, congratulations. been lost in this. We? How are we lost right now? What, are, what is my part of this? You don't know how to help me get out of here then. Show me how to get out. Show me. How do we do this? Exit. Parking. Turn right. Right? No. It doesn't say turn right. What's that big sign right in front of me right there? Well, why do you think it's not that way? And the other sign says right, so why wouldn't you just drive down to there to go out and then discover? I'm going to be wrong, aren't I? Uh, most likely, yeah. And you are very, very elevated moments ah! ago for no reason. That monster Let's fucking see. milkshake. See. What's happening? Oh, look at this. Fuck. Oh, look. You know, it's just a lot. There's a lot going on. So they've been all, like, super busy, not really here. And if they are here, the last thing anybody wants to do is have a camera in their face. This is all full of drawings. There's, like, stacks of drawings because I'm trying to get the sketchbook done. The Mona Lisa stuff coming. It is going to come on garments. A lot of people have been asking. There's going to be prints. Prints are going to be high quality. I always, like, wrestle with this because I would like to make prints more affordable, but I don't, you know, a high-quality, like, ye clay print is just, like, top-notch. really trying to create more. I'm in this, like, really lulled out stage of creating and making myself crazy trying to think if I want permanence you know it's like it's really hard to decide it would be cool to have a little shop there's a post office literally right next door we take all the shipping stuff there have a little storefront and it's in a really busy parking lot it could be cool but it's also going to take literally all of my time and I feel like already my time is kind of like being pulled like four or five fucking different ways and I don't really know what to do so um yeah <laughs> This, that, this is what's happened. But this is life, you know? It keeps going, it keeps changing, and um, I'm sure that the decisions will come to me. You know, get a little travel in, which I've been missing, you know? Do some tattoos, and then come back, and then maybe figure out what the next step is. I don't know. Who knows what'll happen? You know, every day something new happens. It's always changing. In fact, I'm going to blow your mind in a second. Mm. Okay, so... I've been keeping a little bit of a secret. <sighs> All right, this box showed up. I know what's inside. I know what's inside because I'm a master at copying off the sneakers app. I mean, I'm just a fucking master at it. I don't know why, I don't know how. To be honest, since Jay's been home, I've been getting a few shoes for him off sneakers, and he goes and he puts them in the store. He's made a little bit of money here and there, yada, yada, yada. I'm trying to get shoes that he can make a little bit of money on because he is starting off, you know, he needs to make more money. He's out here hustling, dog. He's out here working. Working his way up the ladder, but also that ladder, you know, where he works, they resell shoes. They, you know, it's it's bound to get in the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's bound to be a little bit of residue. We've gone, I've gone on many, many rants about how I feel about reselling. The casual reseller, whatever, every, it's like the lottery. I've said it many times. People are going to try and call me out. But, I've said it many times, the sneakers thing is like a worldwide Saturday lottery. Paying attention to shoes at all, you kind of know which shoes are going to like actually resell and which ones are not. I can't necessarily tell you exactly where these are going. You just need to know I'm not keeping them. But, I did hit on sneakers. The entire point of this video is to share with you that I have a foolproof method to hit on sneakers that I will be selling for $49.95. If you want my method, you will have to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me to get it. And I'm just kidding. Um, I don't have a method other than I heard if you scroll through the app a bunch and like stuff and watch videos that it can help. I don't know. I mean, I did that the other day while I was at the doctor. I don't know. But anyway, these are here. I do think that it's kind of funny because I am an old Nike SB head. For those of you who don't know, I got my start collecting shoes with SB. I got really, really turned off, funny enough, with technically like resale because the you know I used to be able to get shoes no problem I had great plug the guy hates me now he thinks I owe him 150 bucks Johnny I'm sorry I don't owe you 150 bucks if you want, I'll take you to dinner or something it's just principle at this point that was how I got really hooked on SB the first time I actually had to like go out and get the shoes well, not the first time but when the Maneki Nekos dropped I was pretty much like turned off from getting 
shoes. Went after some stuff, but I was really turned off because I got, there was a line. It was the first time there was a line. Some of the first, this is around the era of the first time that there was a line at Supreme. I remember kids showing up with trash bags at Supreme and being very confused and then them leaving with them full and being very not confused. This is a long time ago. I'm talking about old man shit. But I used to be in the SB so hard. Perhaps my favorite shoe, one of my favorite shoes, is not even a dunk, but it is the P Rod Mexican blanket. I mean, incredible shoe to me. I love that shoe. Absolutely. Between that and the Nike Air 180 Opium, two of my favorite shoes of all times. But then, of course, we have the Boost era. I still love Boost. I'm wearing it today. These shoes will not get worn. I think these shoes are atrocious. That it is fitting that I hit on them, given my history and my past, um, where they're gonna end up going, because they're gonna go somewhere. I was a little nervous that they weren't gonna make it. The FedEx scans were all over the place, and they didn't get out to delivery today until like way later. And I just, I hear so many stories on Twitter of shoes that people know resell for a fuckload getting stolen. So uh, I was a little nervous for a minute, but. Alright, I'm sorry, the jealousy, this is not, this is not a ploy to make you jealous. You know, uh, they limit this stuff for really no good reason, and then you convince yourself you need it. You don't, you don't really need it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you like it, maybe it's cool. Maybe you got a story like mine where it's like, oh, I have all this history attached to it, but at the end of the day, it's just a bunch of fabric stitched together, and it's not that big of a deal. You, you, yes you. You are enough. Um, but anyway, Nike SB. This is the first Nike SB box I've had in a long time. Other than the pair that someone sent me to skate in. I could just skate in these. I could just, the old topographical paper. Remember that from back? I never in my life did a, you know, back in my day, there weren't really unboxing videos. It wasn't a real thing. Here they are. In my size, size 13. The what? The P-Rod. This shoe is so gross. I mean, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, it's got references and cues to basically like 16 other uh, pro models of Paul Rodriguez. The PlayStation checks, the, I can't remember the name, I mean, the J-Rod print. I don't know all of them. I can't remember all of them. Um, someone did like a graph on the internet. But, uh, these are those. They are, Fucking awful. I mean, these are just not. Dude, they got diamonds. Look at that. They get little diamonds with it, though. Yeah. I mean, that's the shoe. <laughs> You're not gonna get a review or an on feed. I don't really don't like them. I really don't. And I like the what those usually. I usually can appreciate them, but these um, are not a favorite of mine. I like the Mexican blanket nod. That's about it. The J Rod references. Okay, too. Oh. All right, that's it. Peace.